Hello everyone, Excedra here, bringing you episode 12 of Sky Beast 2, a mud pack by Valden. Well, in the last episode, uh, I added an extra, was it the last episode that I had an extra B level? Hmm, I'm kind of confused now, but anyway, I added a lot of bees in here and I still have some space, all those spaces becoming really short. And I created so many more bees, bitumen bees and salt and whatever this is and like just as many bees as possible. But there is less and less and less bees for us to get and what it means is that every new bees are going to be way more difficult or complex. Huh. How's this doing? I just want to quick check on are processing right here everything's looking good oh oh yeah and this is coming with her skeleton like these buffers are working really well things is going great on the resource processing we're gonna need centrifuges soon though so that's kind of what i think i want to work on today which is why i prepared all of this uh all of this power stuff yeah I'm full power. Uh, just a mod that we do in every single mod pack, it seems. And unfortunately, this mod pack decided to go the very annoying route of, Hey, make everything. One of each and in every level. It's like, oh, God. <laughs> Why? I, I honestly don't know what mod pack creators are thinking sometimes. It's like, maybe just like one of each to tempt you to try them and not necessarily upgrade them all to everything. So anyway, we got the wrench and it wants us to go into the reactors. It wants us to go into the thermal, ger thermal generators. It wants us to go into the magmator, the furnator, the solar panel. That's the batteries. Like that's how you recharge the cables, the energizing rod, the ender gates and the energy cell. Wait, what? And oh, ender cell versus energy cell. So that's two different things. So anyway, um, we're going to have to choose a path and the rest is just going to be like a kind of big cleanup that we do at some point. So I'm going to go over here and intercept because I don't really need iron. I don't really need nether quartz and I don't really need blaze all that much right now. Well, I'm going to need blaze. Okay, let's be honest. Let's put the blaze back here. I'm going to need blaze. But the point is that I'm going to need to... Um, Unfreeze my brain and complete a sentence would be good. Uh, what am I trying to say? Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, sorry. I'm going to need to be processing a lot of material and dielectric pace is something that we're going to need a lot of. Uh, let's go sleep because it's night and let's just continue with the setup. Great. Also... I'm trying, I tried to find information about power, but there's something I do not understand. So first, uh, no, not first. Uh, yes, first, but not first here. First, right here, this magmator. But we're going to come over here and I'm going to make a magmator for power. So we're going to need the dielectric paste, which we have. We're going to need dielectric casing and basic capacitor tiny. Oh, so basic capacitor tinies are made from normals. And let's just do that. And let's do that. Perfect. So we're going to do half of that into tiny and half of that into large. So now we have 64. Oh, 64 tiny. Well, that's more than I thought. 32 basic and 32 large. Now that we have those, let's come over here. We're going to want dielectric casing. So let's just do, can I make 60? Nope. Well, no. Yes, I'm going to be able to. I just need to do a little bit of iron bars for don't tell me I'm out of iron. Oh, I'm G. Oh, I'm out of iron. Okay. So I guess the iron processing was important and I kind of screwed that one up. So let's come over here and say no to dielectric paste. No to dielectric paste here. And oh, give me and put those in here. Okay. So what is the point of putting some here? Well, wherever I already have dielectric paste, if this is, see, this would be coal, 
So now nowhere can coal be inserted, but the moment I use it, the electric paste is going to grab one from here. Same for all of the iron. Whenever iron runs out, it's going to grab more iron. So I'm going to come over here. Uh, no, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to grab maybe two more stacks of iron because I, I really need more iron and two stacks of blazing. And the reason I need is I'm going to need more blaze rods. So let's just grab those tax uh, stacks. Put them here and they're just going to see how the blaze disappeared because it needed to finish filling this one right here okay so back to back to the things that we're doing so this uh i want to go to 64. and then and then these i also want to go to 64. and then these beautiful casing I'm just going to make a couple of, like, let's make, oh, four, because then I'm out of iron. This is going to be painful. I should have planned that just a tiny bit better. Can't even make a magmator because I don't have a bucket, but I have one here. So at least that. So let's just do that. And this is a magmator starter. This is going to generate 15 FE per tick. So if you come here, that magmatic dynamo is getting me 160 RF per tick. So no, we're not going to use that magmator. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on that one and we're going to say, hey, let's do the next level. And the next level is going to be 70 FE per tick. That's starting to sound more interesting, but then we're stuck because we can't do the energizing steel one. We don't have energizing steel yet. We're going to put that aside and come back to that later. Next thing we're going to need is an energizing orb. So let's come right here and make that energizing orb. But the energizing orb is like the holder for the energizing. You still need some energizing rods. So let's make an energizing rod starter. And what we're going to do, can I already make it into the second? No, because I'm out of these, uh, what are they called? These dielectric casing. I'm just going to click that so that we can make some more. And we can make four more. So now let's say, let's make the second level. Was this detected? Let's hope it got detected. Yes. And then we're in basic and the next level is hardened where we're stuck again. So let's just do, uh, we're going to do another because one's really never enough. It's, it's one of those things where you want eight. Usually let's start with two. Okay. So now that we have all of this, um, I'm going to need to bring some power. So let's just clean up the space a little bit. Grab this off, grab this off. And you know what? We're always in need of honey in that corner. So I'm just going to come over here and go boom and boom and bring some honey over here. So now I have a bit more space here. And do I have, yes, I do have more energy pipe. So let's grab some energy pipe and we're going to come right here like this. And we're going to go rod well, no, we're not going to put a rod here because apparently rods do not connect to these energy cables. So we're going to do what's called an in-between power setup. So I'm going to grab this redstone flux cell right here. And I'm going to connect this one right here and set this to input from the left. Hey, and it's starting to gain power and output for the right. And we're going to come back here and we're going to make some cables. So we're going to make some starter cables. And we're going to make some basic cable. And no, we can't do the harden yet. So the basic, like, let the starter cable, here's what I'm going to do with them. Chuck them off the board because I'm never going to use them and I'm never going to upgrade them. So might as well just get rid of them. I'm going to do the same thing with the basic, but just a bit later when I have a bit more setup. So if I go like this, now I should, yes, I should be able to put those two in here and they should be filling with power very slowly, but surely. Great. So now I'm going to put a energizing orb right here and we can get started with uh, hardened steel. Uh, see, this quest line doesn't really even care about hardened steel. Hardened steel is gold and iron. So what you need to do is put one iron in here, nothing happens, one gold in here, and magic, it starts transforming. So this is going to start making 
uh, hardened energized steel, sorry. But two at a time, but that's long and we don't really have the time to wait next to it. So we're going to get into router magic because in this mod pack, router is really the way to go for everything. So let's come over here to modular writer, router, oof, sentence is hard. So let's grab, we're going to want three and I have a reason for that. I'll show you. And you know what? We're going to want four. And we're going to put this one away. And we don't really need any speed upgrade because it's not like this is going to go super extra fast. And I do have senders. So let's grab two sender modules. Um, that's not going to be... Oh, I have more here. Right here. More sender modules. Apparently those don't stack. Anyway, and we've got some puller, which is, uh, we're not... Yeah, we're going to need one puller for now. Then, do we have... Uh, I'm going to make myself a barrel. Or do it the proper way, like this. Yeah, I'm going to make myself a barrel. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a stack of gold and a stack of iron. Oh, I keep derping and re forgetting that I do not have the iron, which is part of my problem here. 31 then that's going to be and 31 gold because we already made one so that should make us a stack of the energized stuff let's come back right here and say iron and you know what let's just grab one more stack i just i want the iron i want all of the irons in the world so nope nope iron in here blaze in here iron in here perfect so we're good so now i'm going to grab these router and I'm going to put two routers on this side and also two on this side. And I'm going to grab a barrel that I'm going to put right here. So this is going to be the router for iron. This is going to be the router for gold. And this is going to be the router for extraction. So let's grab a puller module, which we're going to right click right here. So things are going to get pulled from there. Click and sent in here. So, and we're going to have two whitelists. So puller, we're going to say whitelist only. And then I can go right here and say this and this, let it transform. And once it's done transforming, guess what? It's not gonna get grabbed because I now need to come here and say pull energized steel. You need to make sure to do that because now when I put these, they're going to transform Come on and get pulled and transferred over here like so. Perfect. So now we want to make two sender modules. I don't know why they want stack. This is so annoying. So send here, send here, and we're going to say sender and sender. And I'm going to put the iron here and the gold here. And let me show you the nightmare. No, stop, stop. You're putting too much. Yeah, so that's the problem. It's just putting infinite. But we have a solution for that. Really, fortunately, we have a really good solution for that. If I come over here, there's something called a regulator augment. So let's make two of those. You know what? Three. Hmm. Can I make another one of these? I should have some stone here, I believe. Nope, that's glass and that's glass and new stone. Oh, this is annoying. I'm running out of everything that's important. So let's just start making more stone right here. I'm going to need an electric furnace pretty soon because um, dealing with the coal and everything is getting annoying. So let's just shut that down. Well, I mean, go to sleep. and come right back and i should have two stone and i already have one stone in there yes perfect yes i'm missing some of those let's try and complete this hopefully now great so this and now i should be able to make those regulator oh no i need the Augment core like this, and that's four, which is perfect. And I can grab the regulator, and that should make three. Yeah, 
So let's come over here and let's let me show you. So basically, this is an augment that goes into the sender and it lets you regulate how many to send. Same thing here and say one. And then I can put all of the gold in here. But see, it only sends one and all of the iron in here. And see, it only sends one. So now with that set up, I can put gold or iron in either of those. And they're just going to start uh, doing stuff. And the beauty of this is that they're going to be doing stuff slowly, one after the other, but infinitely. Now, in this one, I'm going to put another sender module. Like this. And then I'm going to upgrade it. And I'm going to make this one the four. Why the four? Well, let me show you because there's other stuff that we're going to need to craft. So let me grab eight of these uh, nether quartz. Let's come back here and let's grab the gold and the iron to stop this one. And let's put all of these nether quartz. And then it's going to send one, two, three, four and stop. And this is transforming. We'll see in what it's transforming pretty soon. But you cannot be using all three at the same time. You have to pick and choose. So this is a, a times four, and these are both times one. So they could be either used for something that's one to transform. Wow. Okay, this, this is 100k power. Not my best choice. And you know what? I think, is this? Yeah, this stopped producing. Okay. Do you see how this is full of lava and this is emptying? Well, it's emptying because this stopped producing lava because those stop. It says that it's running out of cobblestone, but it isn't. It's that it ran out of place to put the lava. Let me just grab some of those. And just push some lava in there. I'm going to do the rest later. It's not really important. And this finished and we got our first Certus Quartz. And then I'm going to go right here and we're going to say Certus Quartz is also something that you're allowed to pull. Nope. A little. Right like so. And put it there. Why is this important? You know what? Oh, it's going to make the other one. Why is this important? Well, first off, it's a quest element right here. And that quest element unlock. Oh. Uh, did it not? Un yeah, it unlocked Applied Energistic, where we're going to be able to make a charger. And, ooh, that's going to be annoying. We need Fluix Crystal to make a charger. And Fluix Crystal needs, oh, what is this? A Fluix Aggregator, but it needs a Charged Certus Quartz. Maybe with a Crystal Energizer? Is there another way of doing this? What's a crystal energizer? See, that, that's a complicated thing that we can't make. And we need a charger, which needs flux crystal to begin with. So what's the other? Drop one charge surges quartz, one other quartz, one redstone. That would be the solution. But how do I get the charge surges quartz? Maybe with a... No, I can't wait for an enrichment chamber. <gasps> oh, the surges has a chance of giving you a charge. Okay, so that's, that's how we're going to do it. So to be able to get Certus Quartz, we're going to need a Certus B. And to get a Certus B, we're going to need to, right here, make a egg with four. So four Certus Quartz is going to make a Certus Quartz block. And we're going to be able to make a Certus B. And two more with Nether Quartz is going to get us. So in my time lapse, I'm going to have to get 12 of those for my two Bs and my first, well, no, for one B and then four more and that's how we're going to get our charged and because now this is done we can restart this so this is just going to be doing its job slowly and the beauty here is that we're going to start being able to upgrade those things so if i come back here and i look at the next level the next level is you know what let's do the next level of cable so we're going to do a hardened capacitor like this and the next level of energy cable, I'm going to upgrade the others. Like it's one other way of doing it. So let's just do it like that. So those are five KFE per tick. So that's going to be a while before we over we overuse those. But what we really want to do is a energized rod harden. So I'm going to get two more of these and two more of these. And you know what? Let's make our magmator next level. 
So Magmater, well, I guess not. We still need some more of these. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Magmater, next level now. Perfect. And let's make, oh, we ran out. So that's not a problem. We're just going to come over here and grab some more. See, we have 16 more. Like this is going very fast and well. So this is going to give me two more. And the beauty of this is if I come back over here and I take this away, I'm going to go and upgrade this one to harden. And I'm going to show you the difference. Oh my God. Press R. And okay. It didn't go in by itself because see, it has stored power. So I transform it. Unfortunately, I lose the stored power, but that's how it works. And now I can put this here, but here's the beauty. This one. Oh, they don't say. Okay, so let me show here. The starter one can only output 10 FE per tick. The basic one can output 50. The hardened can output 120. The energized 300. And the niotic, no, sorry, the blazing 300. And the niotic 700 FE per tick. So these are now going way faster. Let me grab this one. And I'm also going to go and upgrade that one too. Like so. And while I'm here, what's my iron status? Can I get 32 more iron? Yes, yes, I can. I guess I can get 32 more gold. And let's come back over here. And show this in here, show this in here. Set that right there. And now these should be going way fast. Oh, look at this. It's just beautiful. And this is something, you know what? Let me come over here. What is the stack upgrade? No, nope. stack upgrade. <laughs> this one right here, the modular router stack upgrade. Yeah, I can make one. If you guys remember, one would extract. So it extracts one at a time. By doing this, it extracts two. So it means that now see it, push one of each and extract both. Push one of each. And then it's going to be extract both. So we kind of made this faster now, not only because we're processing faster, but because we're transferring two at a time. And now we're just powering through this. Now the Magmator Harden produces more power than the Magmatic Dynamo by basically 20 FE per tick. So this is kind of faster ish -er? what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the front of this one to accept power. And I'm going to put this right here like so. And then uh, do I have another blue fluid pipe? Yeah, let's do this. So this should now be filling with uh, lava. And this is now generating 180 FE per tick. And it's just going to help fill this flux cell. Since the lava is going a bit low, let's just... Uh, by the way, I can already tell you, this will not be producing fast uh, lava fast enough, unfortunately. I wish it was, but until we get like a beacon, this is never going to be super fast. So in my time lapse, one of the things that I'm going to do is that I'm probably, I say probably, but when I say probably read this as surely, I'm going to move all of the lava production underground, well underground on the secondary floor, because I don't like the fact that it's in the middle of the way here. And I'm probably going to double or triple this because we're going to need so much power going forward. Part of me wants to go to the power reactor also, but eh, one thing at a time. And right now I have too many things to do. So you know what? We're going to call it. I was going to say call it quit, but at six left, we're not going to call it quit. What we're going to do is we're going to grab a stack of blazing rod and some good, good bread. And we're just going to, my God, all of my fluid. <gasps> oh, this is getting close to full. Okay, so I'm going to need some more tanks, some more uh, energized, uh, not energized, singularity tank, but the large one. That is also something I'm gonna have to work on my time -ups. Okay, so now this is fully done. And I cannot use both at the same time now, but I can use one of them to put a blazing rod gets transferred here and see, this is going kind of fast ish. 
I'm going to stay with the ish because it's not super fast. But what we're going to do is we're going to need four blazing crystal. Come on. And we need to teach this how to pull blazing crystal. And while we're now that it's going to be pulling, let's go back in here and sleep, of course, because bees, bees need light to produce honeycombs. Perfect. And then we're going to we're going to be making two more of these. So energizing rod starter, that's going to be one, and that's going to be two. And I'm going to need so that's going to be two upgraded, upgraded, and upgraded again. Perfect. So starter to basic to Arden. You know what? I'm going to wait for one more because one more blazing crystal is going to let me upgrade it to the last level. Come on. Give it to me. Perfect. So that should be good. Let's come back right here. And then we have two, two upgrades. So we're going to do this twice. One, two, one, two. Put this in there. And then we're going to upgrade both of those. This one and that one. And then we're going to say, make these uh, capacitor. Yeah, these. And that's the last level that you get two at a time, unfortunately. Uh, as you go to the next level, it's going to make one at a time. But now we have an energizing rod blazing. And I'm going to put that one right there. And it's going to work because it's in range. And wow, look at this. This is going just like a tad faster. And when I say a tad, I mean like really faster. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to grab for more three and hey i said you were faster okay perfect but you were going to make a liar out of me is this keeping up in power uh no so so now this is using oh it's because it's not full so this is one of the only issue that i see with this is that you end up losing power um, I have an idea for that though. So let's just come back in a moment. So let's just upgrade those again. Uh, like so. Perfect. And upgrade that one. Perfect. So I, I don't know if we're power positive. Like that's the thing that I need to think about. And I'll explain why in a moment. So I'll put, ah, uh, they don't connect. Really? Uh, do they not connect or is it just, no, they don't connect. They need to be the same level. Hmm. So we're going to use one of the old one, like so, just to be able to put that one here. And basically what's going on is this is not full and this is not full either. That's why this is emptying right now. This is producing some nice little beautiful power. And these are now transforming nicely. And here's what we're going to do, okay? We're going to stop that. And the reason we're going to start that, stop that, is that, see, the, these are going down, but we're not losing the power at least. Uh, at this point, the fact that they contain 250,000K was, it meant that if I broke one, I would be losing way too much of my RF. Uh, right now, I have to be a little bit cheap, so I'm gonna have to be like that for now. So let's just have that finished. And these are 90k each, so I should be able to make at least another one right now. And then I should be able to upgrade all of these without losing any of the power. Perfect. And you don't lose the power, by the way. So now this is done. We're going to change it to the hardened one like this and like this and then i'm going to put back the blazing one not the hardened one like this and this see it's at 48 percent you never lose the power once it's here and now these are going to start filling up the moment that i reconnect this see they're going up in power and yeah they're and producing the next one so let's come over here and let's just say let's make the second one of these oh no oh my god so many wrong clicks so i'm going to need 
two of these and two more of these. And you know what? I'm going to come right here and stop this because again, this time it's the lava that I don't want to lose because lava is not something that I have infinite of for now. So let's have that empty. <clears throat> and when it's empty, we're going to bring that to 400 FP per tick. We're going to need two and four more. So let's just upgrade this. Right. Oh, we need the, the, the dielectric casing and we need more of these dielectric rods. So let's just make two sets of, and then these, can I make one and two? Perfect. So now I should be able to upgrade both of those. And this one also. And let's go back here and put four. I usually go up to eight. Right now, I just don't have the power production to be able to justify eight. And if I come back here, we're at 36 blazing rod left, which means this is going very well. And once this is out of magma, which is pretty soon, let's, so let's just prepare. If I go like this and make more of these right here, like so, and I go magmator blazing. Nope, that's not gonna work because I need another one of these casing. You need so many of these casing, it's kind of crazy. So let's go to magmator blazing. And all we need to do now is to pick up this magmator. I'm just waiting for the lava to be burned because this is producing a lot of power. And like I said, I really, really, really do not want to wait. Uh, you know what? At four, it's almost done. I'm just going to wait a tiny bit. It is worth it. And these are producing, huh? This one's producing 150 RF per tick. This one is not. Why not? I think I might be maxing out my energy pipe. Okay, so this is done. I can take it away. And we're going to bring it here. And this is now producing 400 FE per tick. So if I put it over here, and with one of these, of course, this is now going to get a lot of lava, and we're now producing way more FE per tick. So this is not going up because each one of these use 300 FE per tick. So each one of these, so three, six, nine, twelve, and this is only producing. How much is this producing? This is producing four hundred. So it's powering only one of those. Okay, so we can let that go like that. And at least now the blaze rods are restarted. They're still going pretty fast up, just not like perfection. Darn it! You never want to do that. Now probably lost a couple hundred. Well. I can't have lost more than 90k, but I probably lost a couple of k's of power. Okay, so now that this is done, uh, what's going to be the next? You know what? Let's come here. Let's remove these magmator. I like, and we've done the blazing, and we've done the energize. We've done the energizing rub, the wrench, starter, basic, harden, and blazing. So the next one would be niotic. And that's what I'm going to show you what I meant now. See, one niotic. Now, before this would make two, this only makes one. So we need eight niotic for two niotic capacitor for one of these rods. And these rods use 700 FE. Right now, we are not producing enough power to power all four. So even though this is a really nice setup when you're looking at the lower rod, for this level of rod, it's basically useless i wouldn't call it fully useless because at some point we'll have the power for it but for the meantime i'm gonna just let myself say it's basically useless so energy 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 those are all done <sighs> what else can i be looking into okay so the reason i did all of this is because again it's all about the bees let me just resolve a couple of things so right here first off we have the centrifuge working over time and this is slowly filling in we're close to this being full but there is a solution to the honey storage okay so this is what we're going to do if i go to the quest line there is something called a honey congealer so 
we're going to be crafting the honey congealer, which is super simple. And oh, I need stone. This and this, perfect. And you know what? Let's just do the congealer quickly. So that's the honey congealer. And let's grab two stacks of coal that we can bring over here to continue the cooking process. And I'm going to need my ranch, which is right here. And I'm going to need a blue wood pipe. And I'm going to come right over here. And like this, and then I'm going to start extracting from this in here. So the honey congealer basically just makes honey block. And I can also extract from here and start getting those honey block. Well, I said start getting those honey block. I still need to make a space for them, which should be right here. 13, 16, and voila. So now my honey is being transformed. And these honey blocks, by the way, they can be crafted back down. Let me show you that in a moment i come here and i say bottle 512 i don't even know when i made so many bottles so bottles like this oh i'm getting them because of the mob farm and i grab a honey block you can always craft it back down into honey bottles so that's not a concern that being said i still have 64 buckets of honey here if i need actual liquid honey for now just give me a second. I'm having a problem with my mouse. Okay, now it's working again. It was There was a piece of dirt under it. And mouse, I have a laser mouse. That doesn't work really well. Okay, so that is done. If I come back here, honey generator. It is such a bad generator. There is so no point to make it. I'm going to make it for the quest line at some point. But for now, no. And the next step is going to be apiaries and centrifuge. That's where I'm trying to get. So let's look at the centrifuge. Centrifuge is a four level high three by three multi-block. <clears throat> so three by three by four. And to make it, you need 35 centrifuge casing and a centrifuge controller. The centrifuge controller requires four casing. Oh, so. And the centrifuge casing is made like that. So basically, we're going to need to make 39 centrifuge casing to make one centrifuge. So if I come here and... Oh my god, they did not get bookmarked. Okay, so let's try that again. Centrifuge. If I look at this. And at this. Okay. So centrifuge casing. I'm going to need to make 39 so I'm going to need 39 waxed machine block. So let's go like this. Two, three. Oh, that's it? No, it's not it. it. It's that I run out of oak plank again. So let's just come over here and go blah, 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 blah. Some more oak planks. And then I can do this. And 64. And another 64. So wax planked into... You know what? Let's go the other way around. It's faster. So like this. And I'm going to make those all into trimmed wax plank. And these trim wax plank, I'm going to make... I have no idea how much steel I have. Oh, 20 steel block. Yeah, well, okay. So this is absolutely a time lapse kind of things. Oh, and I only have this many steel. So this is going to be 64, 100... This is going to be 100 uh, steel casing. Uh, no, 100 steel ingots. So 100 is 9, 10 steel block. So this is not going to be the most successful of things. It means that also in my time lapse, I'm just going to have to put more uh, steel bees. Don't even know where my steel bees are, but they're somewhere. Basically, I'm going to have to make another steel bee honeycomb and just put more steel bee. We do have 21 of those, which means that I can now show you how... Oh, same thing. Throw this in here. And hey, it puts one in. And this is this is going to cost 250k FE. And this 250k FE is basically going to... Slowly, because we're running out of power, always, we're always out of power. Basically, 
See, this one was full and this one was getting fuller, but now there seems to be emptying. Okay, so it's going to give us our first casing. And I'm going to go in here and say, these are also neat things that you need to out export. And we're now making the steel casing. So that is really great to me. Let's show that in here. And if I come back here, but like, so I intercepted, like I decided to prioritize this, but honestly, we're not going to get to the 36 anyway. So there's no point in prioritizing this. So I'm going to grab a diamond and an emerald, and I'm going to come back here and I'm going to go take those away. And I'm going to wait for this to finish. And once this is finished, we're going to do one diamond and one emerald to show you. So diamond is 300 KFE. So if you come here, I have 700 in here and 169 in there. But like this is a bit too slow because it's only using two of them. I'm going to let that one finish. Finish. And the reason I'm going to let it finish is I'm going to grab it and then I'm going to uh, put it in the whitelist because those are all things that I'm going to start making in bunches during my uh, time lapses. So blazing and now niotic. I can show the niotic in here. And then this one is 1 million FE. So yeah, this one's going to take a tiny bit longer. And by a tiny bit, I mean a lot longer. Like this is not ideal. And this is not like until I produce more power, I'm not realistically going to be making any of those. Now, the last level that you can make is nitro. Let me show you nitro. Nitro requires a nether star, which we don't have yet. A block of redstone, which is really not a problem. And a block of blazing crystal, which is nine. So the nitro is a bit expensive. And not only is it a bit expensive, um, it's 20 million FE. So yeah, from one to 20 million. So nitro is a, a bit of a long way off, I believe. So we're just going to let that one finished. Finish, not finished. We're going to let that one finish. And then we're going to put back the wax machine block. And basically this will know, this modular router setup is going to know how to extract everything that it needs. And by the way, I've shown you how. Surtis B spawn is quartz over Surtis quartz. And the Surtis B nectar block is two nether quartz and two Surtis and honey. That the reason I'm showing you is it's something I'm absolutely going to do in my time lapse. So let's just go over here, put those in there and teach this how to extract the next level. And let's put that in here. Okay, so let's come back here. If we're looking at this and this is the part where things are a bit annoying with power. So I showed you the progression of the magmator, which kind of was OK because they were all building upon each other. And there's no other way. Like if I want to make the niotic, I'm going to need four, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 niotic crystal. And this is going to go from 400 FE per tick to 900 FE per tick. But that's going to burn through a lot of magma. Like right now, our magma, it's just constantly going down. We're not producing it fast enough. So we're going to have to go toward the power reactor. Although, there is something that I did research and I'm not sure about. So this reactor starter, first of all, you need 36 of them, okay? And it says generation factor of 100 FE. But if I would put this reactor down, it wouldn't create 100 FE. It would produce more than 100 FE. And I don't understand how the maths is done. So maybe here it's going, no, see, that's going to give you the temperature. So Organic water is the same thing as water. Liquid starlight is minus five and we don't have ether gas. So maybe we're going to use uh, liquid starlight. And then solid coolant. You can use ice or snow block. So minus five. This burns though. We can use packed ice. We can use blue ice or we can use dry ice. Dry ice is made with two blue ice, which is made from nine packed ice. And packed ice is made from ice. And ice you make from starlight infusion or like there's other potential option a sub-zero temperature wait oh my god infinite free ice 
and blue ice. Oh, ho, 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 I think I found a solution to making ice. I didn't think of that. So that might be a really good way of making ice. Is there something else that makes more sense? Yeah, no, that's not a good way. Oh, the icy bee. Oh, no, the yeti bee. I don't even know how to get that one. No, the icy honeycomb. So probably with the icy honeycomb would be the best way. Anyway, so what I'm trying to say is that the reactor. So if I right click on reactor, see it does nothing. And the reason for that is the following. The reactor is not buildable on top of each other. So if I want to make 36 reactor starter, I need 36 uraninite and 36 basic tiny capacitor and nine dielectric casing. But if I do the basic, it goes from 100 to 400 and same amount of uraninite and same amount of dielectric casing. And if I go to harden, again, same thing. And if I go to blazing, again, same thing, where the difference is only the blazing capacitor. So the capacitor, if you remember, this is one for one, which means that we would need 36 times four niotic crystal. We go here, we need 36 times two blazing crystals. So 36 times two is 74. And I already have 36. So if I grab another like this, is this done? Nope, still nine to do. Uh, let me take those out. Because to be honest, getting better power is kind of more urgenter. Oh, this is so slow. So let's just wait for this. And then we're going to resolve, resolve the other issues while this is crafting. So let's put these in. And yeah, so these are going to start making their things. And we're going to come over here. So blazing crystal is going to need to be made into these. And we're going to need 36 of those. Oh, I think. No, I don't have enough. Yeah, exactly. So I've got 18. And like I said, if I come back to the reactor blazing. <gasps> how do I? So Sorry, I, I forgot the uranite. The uranite is made out of whatever. Nope, not like this. Not like this. Oh, yeah, the uranite is going to be from the radioactive honey home. So radioactive. Let's grab that and let's grab two stacks. So these technically will give me 128. So that's steel. I need steel. I don't think I need quite as much iron anymore. Let's leave one on iron. And this was wither. And this is steel. So let's put those in here. Okay, so these are going to start giving me uranium ingot. Let's go sleep. And ooh, wait, wait a moment. What did we just say? Uranite is 50% chance of getting one. Can the uranium ingot be transformed into uranite just to save us some time? I can make uranium dust and uranium dust can be made into raw uranite. And raw uranite can be made. So that's raw uranite or, oh, it can be blasted into uranite. Okay. So let's just try that. Let's come over here and do I have, yeah, I've got this so I can do this and I can grab these four. Oh, these 13, not four. And I think I made a pulverizer, multi serve. No. Okay. So you know what? Time for a pulverizer. So pulver pulverizer pulverizer requires oh no i can't make these machine oh yes i can so let's just go do i have any pity machine frame pity oh pretty sure i have some somewhere yes right here so let's go right here and then get the wacky stick the wacky stick where's the wacky stick wacky stick wacky little doo doo done Let's just grab that back. And yeah, I'm saying so many stupid words today. I'm in a playful mood. I'm having fun with this mod pack. 
And honestly, I haven't recorded in like three or four days because I had many episodes in advance, but I'm finally catching back up. So I can restart recording, which makes me so happy. So right now, I don't have anything that I need, which is amazing. No, it's not. So I'm going to need... I should totally connect this. You know what? I should probably do this soon. So let's just... I'm going to need a piston. Perfect. I'm going to need some copper gear. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We now have this beautiful little baby that's going to give me two super fast. And then I can do this. And then I should have enough gravel to make two flints. Yes, but not in the right system, of course. So let's come back over here and do this. Oh, that's okay. That's a lot of flint. So this is done. If I come back here, these are done. And I should be able to make my pulverizer right now. Like so. And if I come back here, this is going to take a lot of my power away. But for now, it's going to be okay. And I can put these in. And they're going to start transforming into uranium dust. You know what? While we're waiting for this, let's come over here. 11. We need 36, basically. 20. So we already have 20. And if I come here... And then here. Of course, this is out of coal. Not a big problem, though. It's just funny. And you know what? Because it's 1 to 8, I'm just going to wait till I have the others. So 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This is not ideal. But for now, it's going to be okay. And we're just going to need to process more of these uraninite... Uh, these uh, radioactive crystal uh, honeycomb into uraninite and doing it like this, at least it, it means that with six, with 128 honeycombs, I'm going to need a, I'm going to get 128 um, uranium and I'm probably going to get 64 uraninite because it's 50% chance and with very little mana, it's just, it's, it's the fact that it's a multiple step process that's annoying. Right here, ouch, burn myself. Get these, and I think we're really, yeah, we're almost at 36, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 30, 33. And I'm pretty sure, you know what, let's just come over here, and I'm going to put those in here. The reason I put them in here is that if there's any in my centrifuge, they're going to get extracted. And we're already at 40. So we should be good. So let's come back over here. Grab these 38. And technically, yeah. I think I should now be able to make these. So I need 36 of these. 36. Perfect. Uh, so let's go back to at power. And... Which one is it? Yeah, reactor blazing. This one right here. So now we need nine of those. So one, two, three, four, five, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I think we're it. Uh, we're it. I mean, I think we're going to be able to do that. That's going to be 36 right here. And we're going to grab all of the uranite that we have, which is only nine, not ideal. Uh, you know what? Just a stack of redstone and a stack of coal. And let's go set that up. Um, this is so ugly. I don't care. Put, oh. Okay. It's, oh, it was, okay. So it's going to fit right here. And I'm going to move it. I, I In my time lapse, I'm going to move power generation all underground because it doesn't need to be here. So this needs multiple things. So first coal, which is going to be efficiency 180 degree. Redstone, uh, production, fuel consumption 120 degree. We're going to need a bucket of water. And the beauty in this is that 
You know what? I'm going to try with the fluid starlight. So technically, based on if it works the same way as it does in every other pack, I put one bucket and I will never need to put more. It shouldn't be using any. And basically, I need a cooling uh, method. So if I come here and I go IC, let me just grab this. I should have started that before. But uh, if I come, that's steel. That's also steel. So you know what? Boom and kaboom. Let's do that. Let's come back over here. And was the blazing rod? No, they're not finished. I was, I was going to say if the blazing rod are finished, I'm going to put the wax machine block back in. But anyway, so two heists. If I come here and I put those in, see one filled it. And then we have, so now we're ready to start generating power. Okay. So if you look at it, see max extra extract 100 KFE generating factor 1.2 FE, FE per tick. So if I come to the ender, where is it? Ender right here, the blazing, this one right here. See how it says max extract 100 K max extract 100 K. And then right here it says, oh, 1.2 FE per tick and the 18 million and the 18 million. So I'm going to put this in and it's going to start generating power. And it's burning through it. Oh, it's burning through it a bit fast, but it's generating power at 76 degree. Look at this. We're generating 16,000 FE per tick. Not 1.2, 16. I don't know why. So we're going to put auto mode on, which means that it's going to stop burning uraninite the moment that this is full. And then uh, this is where I'm not quite sure why these did not connect. I expected one of these energy cable to connect. So this is hardened. If I do this, yeah. So this one, oh, no, okay. So I can't go this way. So I guess it's one of those things where I'm unfortunately going to need to use all the power and redo it. So let's just stop that. And this is, let's do this. So now I'm going to have to wait for these to empty. And once they're emptied, I'm going to be able to just connect this. Wow. Look at the power generation. This thing is a beast. If I come back here, I grab these 24 and put those in here. And if I come back here and grab this ice, so it's not using the starlight. So this is a coolant that's uh, always, it's not going through the coal super fast nor the redstone super fast. It's the uraninite that get, gets burned a bit faster and the ice, but that should be resolved later. So I'm just gonna let that, where is this? Wait a moment. I. It is okay. So even though it's not connected and you don't see it connected, it is connected. See, you can even mouse over. So I thought it wasn't connected, but it's connected. And look at this now. This is like just burning through them like crazy. So let's come back right here and let's go. Can I, how many more of these can I make? Another 14. So that's going to be 16, 17, 1. 17, 2017, 27. No, so 19, 20, 35. Ooh, 35. This is so close. Okay, so let's grab all of these. Let's go back here. I, I might be able to get my centrifuge today, which honestly, if I'm 100% honest, I was not expecting to get. So let me just go like this because I'm going to need one. Uh, thir so that was... That was 35, right? 36, 37, 38, 39. So I need four more. So I need 32. Let's just boom this all out of existence. Go like this. And this should be 32. And like this. And please tell me I have four steel. Oh, yes. And come back here and put that. So that's going to be how many in here? That's going to be 23, 24, 24, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 35, 36, 37, 38. Oh, I might be missing one. Not sure. One thing at a time. So let's go sleep and let's do the centrifuge controller now. Come on. So let's go 
over here and let's grab a centrifuge controller which is going to need a redstone comparator oh my god i'm always out of these stupid little things uh redstone torch wow i just i'm i'm done making those well i'm not done because i'm gonna have to make some more pretty soon so this and i'm going to need this manual centrifuge which is going to require a barrel Yo, are you doing this on purpose, game? Like, just give me my stuff. Uh, I'm going to need some cast iron. So do I have clay? Uh, yeah. Do I have clay? Yes, but what I want is brick. Do I have brick? Yeah, okay. So let's just grab these brick. <gasps> One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's just have that completed. And while we're waiting, what's the situation on the Uranonite? Five more. I can show in here. Come on. These are taking their sweet time. Have you ever noticed how when you're waiting for something, everything's so slow? Anyway, I just want to finish the centrifuge for today. And then I'm going to go in my time lapse and in the time lapse, I'm going to be doing a lot of cleanup and a lot of completion of stuff. Let's come back right here. And then I should be able to make my centrifuge, my manual centrifuge. I guess I first need to make the barrel. Then I should be able to make the manual centrifuge. I could have picked one of the other centrifuges. It's just... I don't really want to pick those up for now. I want to be able to have them for later. So do this. Perfect. So we have a centrifuge controller and we have 19. So if I come back over here, 31, 32, 33, 34. Oh, exactly the right number. So we just need to wait a teeny, teeny, tiny bit. We finish this and I'm going to set up that centrifuge just anywhere. I just... I want to get it done just to show you guys. So let's just, perfect. One, uh, two left. So let's just wait for this one. And the elites. Oh, darn it. Stop doing stupid stuff. Okay, so the elite centrifuge, by the way, um, if you look at the centrifuge casing, you basically need to energize them with a block of redstone and a block of netherite. And netherite... And we're not close to that. So that's going to be a couple of episodes down. But just getting that centrifuge up, I'm going to be able to show you how our world is going to change. So that's a quest completed. So basically, we're going to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The centrifuge controller needs to be here. It's in a set space. It cannot go just anywhere. Oh, my God. Like this, and this is a full structure. It's not an uh, empty in the center. Basically, what we've done right now is exactly the number of items we need to get this working. And the centrifuge is working. Now it's going to need power. So we're going to do something ugly as all hell. I don't care, though. We're just going to go. Like this. Oh, this is not connecting. Oh, is this one of those things where, okay, so I'm not sure. I think it might be that it needs to receive power from under, or it might just be that it doesn't accept these cables. So what we're going to do is, oh, this is a bad spot. Can I go this, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try then... Oh, they're here. I was like, I don't have any energy pipe. Okay, so like this, yes. Like this. This. And break this. Break this too while we're at it. And let's see, does it connect from the bottom? So like this and like this. Yes, it does connect. So it's one of those things where it receives power from the bottom. And it's now receiving power and Oh, this is going to be extract. So remove these. 
I'm gonna come back here and show. Ow! Oh, it already has eight stacked. Okay, so let's just do this. And the ice is going to go in here. Perfect. So let me show you why this thing is a beast and it's beautiful. So we're going to come back here and we're going to say iron because we've shown that we're running out of iron. And then we're going to go and grab ancient debris because ancient debris is what's going to make, uh, sorry, ancient honeycomb makes ancient debris and ancient debris makes the, what we need for the netherite. And then the next thing that we want is going to be um, steel. Do I have? Oh, I only have two. This is not enough, but let's grab two just to show you. And if I come back here, let's say that we need some redstone. So this, look at this. It processes three things at a time. And look at how this is going. Okay. So we're going to wait for the next one. Nine, 1,001, 1, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 1,000. Let's say 1,006. Look here. This is going to be 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 1,007, 1,008, 1,009. So it takes three seconds more to produce one comb, to process one comb, where this is just doing three blocks at a time. And we're still getting the honey. Three blocks at a time, nine at a time. This is a game changer. And I'm probably going to want one or two of these. And one of the things that I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to grab this. Oh, I'm going to need another router. That's fine. So let's grab this. And we have an extra router, right? Yeah, right here. So let's just come over here. Like so. And then sender is going to be right here. This one, I'm going to put this here and oh, like this. But this, I'm going to change to this, this, and this. Huh. What is the problem? Let's just come over here. Like this. Oh, it's just going too fast. But voila, we are now processing blocks of honeycomb at a time. And why did you stop? Oh, and it's already full of honey. Oh my God, this is crazy efficient and good. Like, wow. I don't know why I didn't think it was going to be this magnificent. Can I extract... Oh, come on. Let me just go and make a little bit more fluid pipe. And then we're going to end the episode because to be honest, I'm a bit over time, but this is, this is what needed to get done today. Okay. So let's just do, no, this and this and one, two, and this and this. And honestly, there's a part of me that wants to make a second centrifuge. Oh, I'm dumb. Yeah, that's going to be very disgusting, but let's just do like this and empty. And this, did it restart? Yes, the honey's leaving and this is restarting and we're good. By the way, you can also put some um, bottles here if you're producing a different type of liquid. But yeah, this is now beautifully working. And it's way faster than doing this. And basically, we're now going to start being able to process of all of our comb. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start adding just like blocks over here. And once that's working, I'm going to do the same thing with this. And we're going to process everything in block. In the best of world, though, I would create a second one of this, but that's not going to happen today. So a lot was done today. Today, we did this. We did this beautiful reactor blazing. We did this beautiful modular router setup. You know what? Let's come back over here. But technically, I'm just going to feed this a stack of diamond. 
and more because I'm going to want to start powering things to spirited. Like I'd like to make another reactor and I'd like to make a spirited reactor because if I'm going to be burning uraninite, which is like a expensive resource, I want to be burning it in the max production of production of power. So one, I'm going to go in my time lapse and I'm going to start moving all of the power generation underground. Well, underground on the second level. And I'm just going to make sure that I'm maxing out the generation, uh, the processing of resources. Might even bring this, like, I think that things that are automated that I never really use that are just running forever, I'm going to put under and things that I need to use once in a while. Like I'm going to set up a workshop here for things that I need once in a while, but that's it. This is going to be it for today's episode. We got a lot done. And in the next episode, we're going to resolve the wither. I have a solution for the wither. I don't love it extremely. I found something on the uh, discord and it's a bit cheesy, but uh, I don't want to waste the time producing 32 uh, wither proof block. And there's like a cheesy solution where you can get a wither stock within six blocks. So to be able to get my nether stars ASAP and set up the beehive, the apiaries, I'm going to need to do that. So guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.
particle beam weapons. Thank <laughs> you. 